Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smitha. In today's video, I want to discuss the importance of having software engineers who are able to make use of machine learning and who are skilled in machine learning. I know that a lot of you guys out there are either computer science students or your software engineers, and you're wondering if machine learning is a skill that you guys should pick up on or it's something that you should definitely have. We know that machine learning has been just booming over the last decade. In fact, over the last decade, the amount of companies who have started making use of machine learning within their products has just catapulted. So the importance of machine learning is definitely proven. But just, just how important is it for a software engineer to know machine learning? So in today's video, I wanna highlight the extreme advantages for software engineers like yourselves to know something like machine learning. So let's get into it. We know that machine learning is going to be huge. We just don't know how big machine learning is going to be. So it's really important to have some sort of context on just how large machine learning is. So I've taken a look at this study that was released by the World Economic Forum on the future of jobs. It was actually released last year in 2020. So this study actually paints a really good picture on what the future of jobs is going to look like, not only across different industries, but also across different countries. Interestingly enough, there is a part of the study which actually highlights the most in-demand jobs, right? So the top most in-demand jobs was actually data scientists and data analysts. And number two was actually AI and machine learning specialists. So we know for a fact that, you know, a skill like machine learning is extremely in-demand. In fact, at this stage in the industry, there is a huge amount of demand for machine learning engineers, but there's just not enough supply. There's just not enough people who are qualified to fill these roles. So what I think is naturally gonna happen is that we're gonna see a lot of software engineers pick up a skill like machine learning and actually apply for these roles and successfully land them. So that's what's gonna happen over the next five years. So at this point, you must be wondering, hey, you know, Smitha, why is there such a large demand for machine learning engineers? Why is there such a large demand for data scientists, machine learning engineers, people who know AI? Well, the fact of the matter is that a lot of tech companies, especially large tech companies, they have been heavily investing in artificial intelligence and machine learning. In fact, a study by KPMG in 2019, it actually showed that machine learning was actually the second most heavily invested aspect of tech by a lot of these large tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Google. So that is why we see this huge demand for machine learning engineers. So not only are, you know, fan companies investing heavily in machine learning, but we also see a lot of venture capitalists investing heavily in startups, which make use of machine learning. So there is all of this combined actually has created this huge amount of demand for machine learning engineers. So at this point, you must be thinking, okay, I'm going to learn machine learning and apply for those machine learning engineering roles. Well, it's not that simple. Well, as I was saying, the hype surrounding machine learning is pretty new. And you know, even the industry is also trying to figure out exactly who a machine learning engineer is, what kind of skills a machine learning engineer should have. So each company has extremely different standards with you know, what they actually look at when they're hiring someone who knows machine learning. So for example, a fan company is extremely different from a startup when we are looking at how they hire machine learning engineers. So at fan companies, technically what happens is they have an entire department extremely separate from you know software engineering so they have an entire separate department which deals with data and machine learning right so they actually hire people who are specifically machine learning engineers so we're talking actually research scientists so people who have phds and have actually done research into machine learning so these are the type of people that are actually being looked at as possible candidates at these fan companies when we're talking about machine learning engineers. However, the case is extremely different when we look at how startups hire machine learning engineers. So what startups do is obviously they don't have a great deal of budget, right? So startups do not have the same amount of budget that a fan company has. So what startups do is they often look for a software engineer who has an ability to use machine learning. So a software engineer who has, you know, who's able to use machine learning libraries. So these are the type of people that startups actually target. So not someone who has a PhD and not 
not someone who has research level knowledge of machine learning, but they are able to make use of machine learning libraries and all the top machine learning libraries. So these are the type of people who are often looked at as possible candidates at startups for machine learning engineering positions. And actually, this is extremely true for a lot of other tech companies as well. You know, not the large tech companies, but most of the medium-sized tech companies, the smaller tech companies, and just the rest of the tech world, you see that they're hiring machine learning engineers who are actually software engineers, but they know how to use and make use of machine learning libraries. So these are the people who are really great candidates to take up machine learning engineering positions at a lot of tech companies. So this is exactly why it's extremely important for software engineers to know machine learning, because you are probably going to be applying for a job in the future, which involves machine learning, which requires machine learning. We know that the scope of machine learning is extremely large and it's definitely going to be used by more and more companies. So as a software engineer, I think it's definitely going to be an extremely valued skill. Another thing that I want to touch on is full stack development and how machine learning is going to really change the way that we look at full stack developers. Earlier, I mentioned how tech companies were investing a tremendous amount of money into machine learning and AI. And that is true for a lot of different industries, not just tech companies. So in the future, we can expect to see you know, machine learning and AI being a really integral part of whatever kind of job that you guys are doing. So what happens then is if machine learning is such an important part of a company's product and services, we're definitely going to see it become part of the full stack as well. You know, we're definitely going to see it have a place in full stack and it's really going to change the way that we look at full stack developers and how we define them. So machine learning is definitely going to be an essential skill, not just for software engineers, but also for full stack developers as it's going to be an integral part of the stack. As with everything, we have to take it with a pinch of salt. So I know that there is a tremendous amount of hype surrounding machine learning, but we know for a fact that it's going to be huge just based on the amount of investments which are going into machine learning products and services and also machine learning startups. That being said though, if you're someone who is not interested in machine learning, there's also a tremendous amount of different things which are going to play a huge part in tech in the future as well that you can definitely look into and learn. For example, blockchain chain engineering, algorithmic engineering, networking, you know, anything to do with augmented reality and virtual reality. These are all things that are going to play a huge part in our future. And you should also look at them as possible things to actually invest your time in and uh, gain these type of skills. My personal opinion on this is that as software engineers, you should definitely look at learning machine learning as a skill. Although I know that the learning curve for machine learning is pretty high, but you guys don't exactly need to know the exact full math behind machine learning algorithms, you know, how to actually code machine learning algorithms and how each algorithm actually works. But what's really important for software engineers is to actually be able to make use of some of the most popular machine learning frameworks and libraries and also know when to use specific algorithms and their use cases as well. So these things can be something that you guys can focus on instead of being hyper-focused on learning the nitty-gritty details of machine learning and how to actually build your own machine learning algorithms. But instead, you can actually focus on how to make use of machine learning libraries and know the practical uses of machine learning algorithms. Because what we can expect to see in the future is that we can definitely expect to see enterprise level software, which makes machine learning much more easier to use, not just for software engineers, but also for people who don't really have that much technical knowledge to begin with. So that's definitely a huge possibility. So guys, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. Do you believe that uh, machine learning is going to play a really huge part in software engineering in the future? And if you guys have already started to learn machine learning, let me know what you guys thought and be sure to like and comment in this video because this really helps me as it helps the YouTube algorithm know that this video is getting a lot of positive feedback and it also recommends this to other people. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.